good morning student welcome to my channel here i am going to explain about banach algebra particularly i am going to explain about the spectrum of a nonlinear space so throughout this section so x will be assumed as a complex nonlinear space and this gel of x comma x is nothing but a set of all bounded linear transformation nothing but this bounded linear transformation is mapping from x to x itself that is function mapping from x to x so if a belongs to l of x comma x and lambda is any scalar that is nothing but lambda belongs to complex then lambda i minus a will also be written as lambda minus a so this lambda i lambda into i again it is lambda minus a so this written okay so this can be written as this way and i is an identity linear transformation if for some lambda lambda minus a whole inverse that is nothing but you can write this as lambda i minus a whole inverse does not exist then lambda is called what it is the eigen value of a suppose this is existing then we are saying that lambda is not a eigen value suppose it doesn't exist then we are saying lambda is a eigen value of a so range of lambda minus a is denoted as denoted by what r of lambda minus a okay so first we'll deal with this definition so x be a nonlinear space d be a subspace of x let a be a linear transformation nothing but a the function a is mapping from d to x be a linear transformation where d is what d is a subspace of x so d is also called as what norm linear space so the inverse of a how we are denoting the inverse of a that is nothing but a inverse is said to be exist if there exists function a inverse such that for any x belongs to d a inverse of a x is equal to x so see here if a inverse exist if you are multiplying that with a x again you should get x where a inverse is a range of a r of a and range of a inverse is again d okay so thus this a inverse can be written as this is a is mapping from d to x a inverse is equal to range of a to x so if a inverse exists then we are saying a is 1 1 okay so a inverse of range of a equal to again what d only here okay so a inverse whole inverse again what you are getting a only so next definition is about uh, resolvent set so let's see so again the same thing x be a non linear space d be a subspace of x let a mapping from d to x be a linear transformation so range of lambda minus a is dense in x and lambda minus a has what bounded inverse on this r of lambda minus a that is range of lambda minus a then we say that lambda belongs to resolvent set of a and it is denoted by rho of a okay next is again the definition so here we are saying it is the definition of continuum continuous spectrum so let d be a subspace of non linear space a mapping from d to x be a linear transformation so range of lambda minus a is dense in x and lambda minus a has unbounded inverse so for resolvent set you have what range of lambda minus a is dense in x and lambda minus a has bounded inverse here what you have range of lambda minus a is dense in x and if lambda minus a has what unbounded inverse then we say that lambda belongs to continuous spectrum of a what do you say continuous spectrum of a and it is denoted by c sigma of a and what happens if range of lambda minus a is not dense in x so let's see here that is nothing but here we are going to deal with residual spectrum if the range of lambda minus a is not dense in x but lambda minus a has inverse 
bounded or unbounded see here this is not dense in x lambda minus a is not dense in x this lambda minus a has inverse nothing but inverse exists and it may be bonded or unbonded so then we are saying this lambda that is i lambda belongs to residual spectrum and it is denoted by r sigma of a so next one is if lambda minus a inverse does not exist then we say that lambda belongs to point spectrum of a denoted by p sigma of a this set consists of just a eigen value because here you have seen if lambda minus a inverse doesn't exist then you say it lambda belongs to point spectrum of a so the here is a summary of whatever we have seen so so lambda minus a inverse suppose it exists and what is the boundedness of lambda minus a inverse lambda minus a inverse is bounded lambda a minus a inverse exists so range of lambda minus a is dense in x then you are saying that lambda belongs to what resolvent set again the same thing lambda minus a inverse exists Bound, lambda minus a inverse is unbounded and range of lambda minus a is what dense in x then you are saying it as what continuous spectrum that is lambda belongs to continuous spectrum denoted by c sigma of a again lambda minus a inverse exists so lambda minus a inverse it may be bounded or it may not be bounded range of lambda minus a is not dense in x then you are saying that lambda belongs to residual spectrum that is r sigma of a lambda minus a inverse doesn't exist so we are not bothered about this boundedness or unbounded whether it is bounded or unbounded we don't bother about it the thing is this range is also dense or not dense in x that also doesn't but the thing is that lambda minus a inverse must not exist lambda minus a inverse does not exist means obviously this will be what does not exist means you cannot say about boundedness or unbounded so range also it may be dense or may not be dense so here we see lambda belongs to point spectrum so just by easily seeing this chart chart you can just re uh, remember the definition of resolvent set continuous spectrum residual spectrum point spectrum so here is a note if lambda belongs to f and lambda belongs to what rho of a that is resolvent set or lambda belongs to c sigma of a that is continuous spectrum or lambda belongs to r sigma of a that is residual spectrum or lambda belongs to p sigma of a that is what point spectrum so the cf is what union of all this spectrum that is resolvent set continuous spectrum residual spectrum and point spectrum so the set that is continuous spectrum residual spectrum point spectrum denoted by sigma of a and it is called what spectrum of a what do you mean by spectrum of a nothing but it is combination of union of all this spectrum continuous spectrum residual spectrum and point spectrum combining that is union of all these constitute what the spectrum of a sigma of a so thus the union of continuous spectrum residual and point spectrum of a comprises the spectrum of a